Hey, hey, party people, it's Lycona de Chichi, and welcome to this critical engagement in the Bajan. I can't ever, I can't ever pronounce it right, but it's Bajan Southern Front. Patriot Games, this is the one that it's called, yes. And if you notice, this is the same uh, guy that we get from the Binding Coil of Bahamut turn 8, the Avatar, and the mechanics in here uh, pretty much operate in the same way. I think there was a tank buster there, but heal up, you'll be all good. Alright, so now these tethers come out, uh, and what they'll do is that if each of these two, if two tethers charge that tower, that tower is going to fire. So you can see that there's this little red light on top of the, the charge pillars. So now what you have to do is you have to say, okay, which of these things is going to fire, right? So that one tether on the right there, that's going to get a charge, and the other one got two charges. So those two, uh, those two uh, columns, those fire things, are going to fire. Um, these are mines. Uh, from turn eight, you had to clear these out or else those mines would explode and like wipe the entire party. So a lot of folks are just like grabbing the mines. If you do make sure that's the, the tank versions of them, not tank versions, geez, what am I talking about? Make sure tanks grab the mines. Uh, so that way, you know, the DPS aren't getting wrecked. Dodge some AOEs and his tethers are gonna come out again. So you can see I'm spinning my camera around to look at uh, where the safe spot is. There's only one quadrant of the safe spot. Um, and you can see here some folks uh, got into the uh, different location, but, uh, but it's okay. We only had 19 people in this fate and uh, it was going down pretty quick. Uh, but those are sort of the main mechanics for this entire fight. I think this is a, yeah, it looks like a rape white AOE. I'm not quite sure what that is, but uh, just heal up through it and you'll be okay. This tethers come out again. You can see which ones are firing. Uh, there are those little red, just to reiterate again, you can see those little red lights. If there are two red lights on those, uh, like in the middle of those towers, then that's the one that's going to fire. You know, one thing that uh, if you did the Binding Coil of Turn 8, the Avatar back in the day, there were these, um, oh, there are the mines again, uh, and the things on the side are going to fire again, so go to the proper quadrant. But one of the things that I miss, uh, that I kind of wish they would incorporate in here was was the um, either the two-person stack or the three-person stack. And if you know what that is, you've been playing as long as I have, so that's all you're going to get. You're going to have to do some more research on what those mechanics were back in the day. So as you can see here, uh, I was sort of looking around at all the different places. You have two up there, you had... Uh, and you know, I think the tricky thing with this guy is that it's not... The tethers don't fire the the things on the side the columns the tethers charge up the columns and if those charges and if you get two red dots like you see the top left corner where it has like the red uh dot there uh like that just went behind the map if that one gets two that's when they fire so the energy tethers go out um so so yeah you get it i'm kind of stumbling over my words but i feel like after you see this a couple times you know, you'll you'll figure it out, and you'll get the engagement, and you'll win, and you'll get some more metal. So until next time, keep on adventuring.